One effect that I really like to apply in Adobe Illustrator is to apply a neon glow to an object. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my object. And this works best on any closed path objects. I'm going to go ahead and draw a star. And I'm going to keep the fill on white and I'm going to change the stroke to black. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my star. And I'm going to move it. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to create a series of strokes so I can have that neon glow. So to do this, I need to go ahead and go to Window and then to Appearance. And you can see that I have my fill layer and then I have my first stroke layer. I want to actually create four more stroke layers. So I have five um, in all stroke layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select that stroke layer so it's highlighted and then click this duplicate duplicate button four times. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I have four strokes now. So the last stroke, the one on the bottom, I want to go ahead and I want to make this a deep red color. This is going to be my first stroke color. So I'm going to go ahead and with this selected, I'm going to go up and my stroke, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a red color. And I'm also going to change the size. I'm going to make this 20. So I'm going to make it a thick stroke. Go ahead and click on the next stroke layer and it goes ahead and it applies it. And I'm going to change this to a dark orange color. And I'm going to change this stroke to 20 as well. Actually, I'm going to change this to, let's change it to 16. We're going to decrease them little by little. The next layer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose a lighter orange color and I'm going to change this to 13. The next one, I'm going to choose even, actually I'm going to go ahead and choose a yellow color and I'm going to change this to 10. Notice I'm going down some each time. And then my last stroke layer, I'm going to actually set as white and I'm going to do a stroke of just 6. Okay, now you can see we have a neon looking layer here. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to apply a blur to those layers. So go ahead and click on that bottom red layer, go up to Effect, go to Blur, and then go to your Gaussian Blur. And go ahead and change the radius so it's 1.5 pixels. Click on OK. and it's going to go ahead and apply it. Now go ahead and click on each layer. We're going to click on the next layer, go to Effect, and you can go ahead in this first option you can repeat it. We're going to do our blur again. Okay, and we're going to keep going. Okay, last one. So I'm going to go ahead and click to unselect it and I have a nice neon glow now and you can of course experiment and use whatever colors or shapes you might want to with this.